Hello universe. I wanted to do a quick and dirty unboxing video of a new battery I got. It's a Tenergy 3S Graphene LiPo. Now I already started to open this package up from Hobby King and got down to the goods and just realized that I was super impressed with it and had to do a video of it immediately. So I just stopped, uh, grabbed the camera, and here we go. And so I'll take out the bubble wrap, the invoice, there's a couple of accessories I bought, a balance charger Y, and a bag of XT60 connectors to use in the project this is going into. This appears to be some instructions, which I don't care about. And here is the thing, the reason for this video. This is a new battery type. It's got a super thin membrane that allows it to have a much higher discharge rate than a normal LiPo, which is already relatively high compared to normal battery cells. So I'm going to grab my handy Leatherman and my knife and cut this thing open. But first, maybe I'll see if I can slide this apart. And it does come right out. And as you can tell, this box is extremely nice. It is rivaling anything that comes from Orange Modworks, which is already just extremely nice packaging. Why does a battery need this? I don't think it does. This box doesn't need to be held together with magnets, but it sure is a really nice touch and makes me feel better about this battery. So got some foam packaging and more instructions and warnings and stuff. I don't care about that either. So here is the thing. This beautiful, beautiful thing comes in a velvet bag, like it is sunglasses or a sex toy. I am really, really impressed with the whole presentation of this thing. Still, this box gets me. I'm gonna have to find something fun to do with it later that isn't hold the lipo because that lipo is gonna live in my project. So let's pull it out of this bag really, really slow for the camera get a good look at it because this thing is dead dead sexy and here we go this is just sleek black matte finish with this foil on it uh, it is a little bit bigger than my previous 3s lipo which was a 2200 milliamp battery but uh i don't really care with that 65c discharge rate i think it's going to make up for any of that size so I will be updating you with how this battery performs in the future project. See you around, guys.